Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is King Froggy, and welcome back to another of the Metalhead Reacts. Now, before we jump into this video, like every other video that I've been doing so far, I want to say thank all of you so very much because of how supportive you guys are being and how amazing you guys are being, like, commenting and liking and the subscribers up every single day, and it's just amazing to see. So, now... I'm going to be reacting to Immortal Technique again, and we're going to be reacting to Point of No Return. This was recommended to me by George Washington. Awesome name, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be reacting to today. Now, before I click start on the video, uh, what we are, what I'm going to start doing is a couple of people have already said start doing two videos a day. So, I'll tell you guys what, I will start doing two videos every single day, just for you guys. Now then, let us jump into Immortal Technique, Point of No Return. Yeah, it's that real this time around. Volume two. It's on now, motherfucker. Lock and load. This is the point of no return. I can never go back. Life without parole. Upstate, shackled and trapped. Living in the hole. Looking at the world through a crack. But fuck that. I'd rather shoot it out and get clapped. I'm on to Okay, so right quick, right off the bat, I want to say once again, this song has a very old type feel to it. And I fucking love it. I mean, this game, this this one came out like what? Yeah, eleven years ago. So I mean, obviously it has that old feel to it, but I just love the old feel because like modern rap is so generic and it's so similar when it comes to the sound of it, and that's the reason I stopped listening to rap. That's the reason I stopped listening to it. Really, is because. Everything just gets to where it sounds the same, and I don't. It, it just, you know, I, I, I didn't like it. That's the reason I like the older stuff better because the beats are better and they're different with every almost every song. Uh, all the lyrics you can actually understand instead of this mumble stuff that people do, which is stupid as fuck, by the way. So, uh. Yeah, go ahead and put down your pitchforks and torches, guys, but it's true. All right. Uh, let's continue. For me, Auschwitz gas chamber full of Zyklon B. Just like the Spanish exterminating Tainos, raping the black and Indian women, creating Latinos. Motherfuckers made me out of self-righteous hatred, and now you got yourself a virus. Stuck in the matrix, a suicide bomber, strapped and ready to blow. Lethal injection, strapped down, ready to go. Don't you understand, they'll never let me live out in peace. Concrete jungle, guerrilla war out in the streets. Nat Turner with the sickle, pitchfork and machete. The end of the world, motherfucker, you not ready. This is the point of no return and nobody can stop it. Malcolm Little when he knelt before Elijah Muhammad the comet that killed the dinosaurs changing the earth. They love to criticize. They always say I change for the worse. Like okay, so it's talking about how he was basically the reason he is here talking about the stuff he is is because he was created out of what do you say? Uh, where, where was it? It was right here. Uh, ah, there it is. Uh, made him out of self-righteous hatred. So, uh, he is right about one thing. A lot of people nowadays, especially, are very self-righteous. And they think everything that they do is right. And whatever you do is wrong. Especially if you go against them. Um... Which is, you know, not a good thing that we live in as a society. Um, but so far, so far pretty good. I definitely love the rap, like, especially considering there isn't even a chorus in here, really. It's only him rapping, and I really like that. Because 
I know how hard it is, one, just to write a song overall, but to write a song without a chorus and just write straight through when nothing but lyrics, it's it's very difficult to do. So I am very impressed with this guy. Pills when you misusing them, nigga. The Templar Knights when they took Jerusalem, nigga, and figured out what was buried under Solomon's temple. Al Aqsa, the name is not coincidental. I know too much. The government is trying to murder me. No coming back, like cutting your wrists open vertically. How could the serpent be purposely put in charge of the country? Genetic engineered sickness spread amongst me. My people are so hungry that they attack without reason, like a fucking dog ripping off the hand that feeds them. Immortal technique is treason to the Patriot Act. So come and get me motherfucker cause I'm not coming back this is the point from which I can never return and if I back down now then forever I burn this is the point from which I can never retreat cause if I turn okay I retract my previous statement there is a course my fault uh but uh so far like a big thing I have noticed about Immortal Technique's style of rapping he really talks about how uh, the people overall are being basically brainwashed by, like, uh, the government, by religion, by all this other stuff, and, you know, making, making out so people only see the, the brighter side of things, or things that don't really matter, like, all this stuff going on with Trump and that freaking porn star, who really cares about that? I mean, seriously, we're talking about that when we're almost on the verge of war with other countries i mean come on dude really that's what people that's what people they want people to be more focused on is the lesser of two evils and that is not what we need we need the actual truth out there and that is what i get from a lot of his music so i i applaud immortal technique on that style back now there can never be peace this is the point from which i will die succeed live in the struggle i know i'm alive when i bleed from now on it can never be the same as before because the place that i'm from doesn't exist anymore this is the point of no return nigga you better believe this mary magdalene giving birth to the children of jesus the evolution of the world bloody and dramatic human beings killing monkeys to conquer the planet the kingdoms of africa and mesopotamia machine gun your body with depleted uranium this is the Age of microchips and titanium The dark side of the moon In contact with aliens I started out like Australians Criminal minded Broke into hell Tore it down and built the city behind it South poor Murderous Methodology nigga Remember that I'm just a man Don't follow me nigga Cause once Whoa okay 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 so the reason I paused it Is because he said one specific line That really stood out Remember that I'm just a man Don't follow me Okay, so one thing I've been hearing go around and like whenever I go to these Immortal Technique things, I always go down into the comments and see what people have said about it. And a lot of people always say that he speaks the truth, this is so true, and all of that. So, and they basically follow him. He doesn't want them to do that. Because he's just trying to enlighten people, to bring a message to people. He doesn't want people to follow him because he's just a man. He can only do so much. Um, so, he's trying to break the brainwashing thing on basically uh, the, the closed-minded or weak-minded people that are very, like, uh, uh, easily coerced into believing a lot of what's going on in today's society and everything like that you know and uh, that right there is like a prime example of him saying I don't want to be like that do not treat me like that and that is what is happening people are like he's speaking the truth he let's follow him you know all this other stuff and it's like no he doesn't want that he wants just to enlighten you. He wants to bring the message across that things are fucked up. You know, and, you know, that's that's a pretty cool message that he added in there. Also, one thing I do love about his rap style, you can very easily understand every word that he says. So even if you're not big into rap, this is a good guy to listen to because you can understand everything he says. You know, and it's a really good thing to listen to. Plus, I mean, the message is just fucking amazing in these songs. All right, let's keep going. 
past the point you can never go home You gotta face the possibility of dying alone So tell me motherfucker, how could you die for the throne When you don't even got the fucking heart to die for your own It rains acid, one day the earth will cry from a stone And you'll be looking at the world living inside of a dome Computerized humanity living inside of a clone This is the place where the unknown is living and real Wormwood, the planet X and the seven seal Universal truth is not measured in mass appeal This is the last time that I kneel and pray to the sky Cause almost everything that I was ever told was a lie This is the Wow, okay, so uh, this is the last time that I kneel and pray to the sky because almost everything that I was ever told was a lie. Damn. Again, these fucking messages, man, that he puts in his music is just insane. And that's a big thing because whenever we're raised and whenever we're brought up, especially today, like this was made 11 years ago when he wrote this. And this is today like social media is such a huge part of everyday life especially for young people because if you look at kids nowadays you can't see a kid that doesn't have some access to social media and especially like with their parents being brought up the same way you know basically being sheep uh it kind of really it, it kind of dooms everybody in a way because everybody believes what social media says instead of going by their own common sense. And that is a big thing that Moral Technique is trying to get across. And I think that's the reason he's not quite as big as Mo, or at least he may have been back then. I don't know. I wasn't listening to rap back then, but um, he may have been a huge thing back then, but... Um, as for today, I think the reason he's probably not as big as he should be is because of the messages that he comes across as, or that he sends to, across to the people that listen to it. All right, let's keep going. Point from which I can never return And if I back down now Then forever I burn This is the point from which I can never retreat Cause if I turn back now There can never be peace This is the point from which I will die and succeed Living the struggle I know I'm alive when I bleed From now on It can never be the same as before Cause the place that I'm from Doesn't exist anymore Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's it. Alright, so some final thoughts real quick. This is a very powerful song, especially because it's basically talking about history in this, as you can see by the uh, different things that come up on the screen. It is basically like a history lesson, like seriously. Um, and... You know, it's a very powerful message to send across, and I really enjoy it uh, because I love a song that has these type of messages, and literally every single Lamar Technique song that you guys have recommended to me has been about these amazing messages. So I appreciate you guys a lot for recommending me this stuff. So thank all of you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure you hit that like button. Be sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I will, of course, see all of you guys in that next video. See ya.